Hello everyone, my name is Jack and welcome back to my first After Effects tutorial. Today we will cover the layout or the interface of the software and some big features that sets it apart from any editing software. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like, comment down below if I should make more tutorials or not, and if you want to help me, consider using code YOJACK and let's just get started. Once you open After Effects, there will be two buttons to choose from. The one on the right allows you to make your timeline's duration up to the clip that you're going to edit. For example, if you have a 30 second clip, the timeline will be 30 seconds long. In After Effects, you could do anything through multiple ways. For example, let's say I want to add a text. If I click on this text, uh, you could just simply type over here, hello, or you could right click, click new and text. And type hello one more time. Now in After Effects, you could have different layouts uh, of the interface. So if you go to Window, Workspace, uh, there's going to be all the different options you can, or you could customize your own. I like to edit on the default, and this is what the tutorial will be uh, focused mainly on. The top, on the top, you're going to have all the different tools that you could select from. You're also going to have a project panel. That's where you could add your footage, your music, anything that you need to edit. The effects control is going to pop up all the effects that you use uh, on the layer. Now this is called the layer uh, in After Effects and if you have any add-ons they're going to appear over here. On the top right you're going to have uh, the different layouts that you could choose from as well uh, or you could navigate to Windows and Workspace. So I'm going to be going through each panel and saying what it does briefly quickly. The info section tells you the color that you're seeing exactly. The audio is self-explanatory. The preview is going to be for uh, when you want to play back. Make sure you have the frame rate on auto. The next section is where you're going to find the presets that you made or any plugins that you have. Align is very good. So for example, let's say I want to align this to the middle. I'm just going to click uh, align horizontally and vertically. And same with this one. The tracker is used to motion track uh, basically anything. You could track text, footage, anything you can think of. The content where fill is a little bit advanced and the character, uh, it's kind of like the line but uh, a little bit more advanced. The character lets you customize the font, the color, the stroke, of the text. Now the top features are over here and this is part 2 so I'm going to be adding my clip and to do this you could drag and drop or right click and click import file. Now I'm just going to drag this over here. I'm also going to cut all of this. So let's say you want to cut the footage before placing it in, you can double tap it while it's in the project panel. You're just going to drag this across so you want it, uh, to start. You're going to press this button and then go to where it ends and uh, just click this one as well. Now I'm going to drag it and let's start with a time remapping first. Before I go in depth, I would like to show you guys uh, some shortcuts that you need to know. This is going to help you edit faster. If you press Ctrl Shift D, it's going to split the clip. If you press Ctrl D, it's going to duplicate the clip. And if you press P, it's going to bring up the position. S is going to bring the scale. T for the opacity. R for the rotation. Or you could just click on this transform and it's going to bring up everything you need. If you press U, it's going to close it. Uh, if you double tap it, since my clip's resolution is a little bit big, I'm going to right click, transform, and fit to comp. So what you're going to do is press Ctrl Shift D to split the clip. You're going to press Ctrl Alt T. That's going to enable time remapping. Press on this keyframe and then just delete this one. It's going to be invisible. And then add one over here. And then go to this one and delete it. Now you're going to select both of these. Press F9 on your keyboard. Or you could click uh, on keyframe assistant and easy ease. Now you just want to enable uh, frame blending for both of these. You're just going to click on it twice until it shows this error. Once you have one of the keyframes selected, go to the graph and then I'll turn the graph real quick. It's pretty simple if you think about it uh, as in math graphs. On the vertical we have the frames, on the x axis or the horizontal we have the duration. So for example if I have this like this. What this means is it goes pretty slow, right? You have less frames per uh, duration. 
and then it's gonna go extremely fast at the end. I'll show two more examples and then we could start. Now what this is gonna do is it gonna go slow in the beginning, fast in the middle and then slow at the very end. Now the last example I'm gonna show is it going really fast in the middle and then pretty slow. Once again, the horizontal line means it's slow, the vertical line means it's going fast. Now for this, uh, since it's the pre, I'm gonna make it go fast then slow. And I don't want it to be extremely sharp so I'm gonna drag this a little bit over here and then this a little bit here. Now uh, I'm gonna click on the other keyframe that we clip, photograph, and then just drag this top and then lower this a little bit down. So this is one of the big features in After Effects. The other big feature is having another composition inside another composition. What this basically means is having a timeline inside another timeline or like a selected group. I'm gonna select every clip uh, that I need to pre-comp and just click on pre-compose. Move all attributes, adjust duration. And the reason I did this was because I want to get back to it later and if I just hide this, it's gonna control every clip that I have. I want to talk a little bit more about the graph editor uh, again, just to show you like how it works. So I'm gonna add a quick text and so I'm gonna go to the align and align vertically and just align it. Now if I press on S and make this big, you see that it doesn't stay in the middle, right? Obviously you could adjust it again, but if I make it small, if you notice it goes on this little anchor. Now to move it, all you have to do is press on this and just drag it to the middle. Now if I press S and make it small, it's gonna stay in the middle. Now I wanna set a keyframe and make this small, right? And if I just uh, easy ease both of these keyframes and go to the graph. Uh, let's say I want to make it go extremely fast, right? So just like this. As you see, it goes pretty fast. What do you guys think is gonna happen? Comment down below. So it went fast in the beginning, then slow, then fast. Now this type of graph will make it slow, fast, slow. Now this type of graph will make the beginning slow and ending fast. So that is basically it, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial, if you guys didn't like it comment down below on what I should improve because honestly there's a lot to go on. So I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in my next one if you guys want.